Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided I was going to do a video on how I edit my Instagram photos. So if you do not follow me right now, my Instagram is Gigi Sedaris, which I will link down below. This is just a little sneak peek of it. Um, I'm only at 2,000 followers right now, trying to get it up. Um, but mostly all I do is just post pictures of my makeup for inspiration. So if you want to get some inspiration on ideas to do, you can always check out my Instagram. Um, but today this video is just going to be on how I edit photos, um, not necessarily how I take pictures. There is going to be a little insert in here on how I take a picture of a flat lay. I rarely do flat lays. Um, I want to start doing them more often, but I did show how I edit the picture and how I kind of laid it out, which in all honesty is not how I lay out a picture. It was just kind of something I wanted to do real quick just to show how you can edit a flat lay. Um, but the majority of my stuff is how I edit my selfies to emphasize my makeup since that's what I'm wanting to show. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, just keep watching. All right, so this is for flat lay photos. Obviously, you want to lay them flatly on a surface and position them to what you think looks appealing. What I like to do is I like to actually use my Instagram and use their camera. And you can just move the products according to what looks good when you look down here. I've already done that. Um, what you see is I have problems with this because of the pattern on it. So if you just click on the phone, it'll lighten in that area. And then just take the picture. Bam. And then if you just push the back button, it'll cancel. It'll automatically save it into your phone. Oh, so if we go back to my phone, the picture is saved. To edit the photo, I just go in and I'm going to go to Facetune. And then I'm going to open the photo. All photos. Okay, so I'm going to use the whitening button. And I'm just going to whiten all of this. And we're going to crop that out because I didn't notice that got in the photo. But then if you want to see what the photo used to look like, to see if you made it any better, you can push this button right here and it shows you the difference. Why is there just one right, white streak there? And that white streak is still there. We're going to erase that. And then you can just keep playing with it until it's how you like it. And then just hit save with the check mark when you're done. And then I like to use the detail button and just kind of emphasize on some details. So I like the gold text so I'm just going to detail the box. And that's all I'm going to do with the Facetune. So I'm just going to save it to my camera. And then we're going to go back out and go to Afterlight. So when you get to Afterlight, your most recent is normally in the bottom. So I'm just going to click on that. That's the one I edited. And I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to crop it. So I can crop out that bottom half. And I'm going to crop it down just to kind of give it better size proportions. That looks good. And then we're going to go over here and up the brightness a little bit. Just about to there. Oh. And then we're going to have a little bit of contrast just to make those things pop. Oops, wrong button. Do we want saturation? Yeah, we'll do a little. And then we're going to go over here and go on the guest and then hit the rusk. And then we're just going to turn it down a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Ooh, like that one. No, I like rusk. And then we're done. That's all I do for those kind of photos. And then you can just save it or you can upload it to Instagram right there. Alright, so then to do a selfie one, I normally when I take a selfie, I take multiple pictures to just kind of choose from them. So we're going to do this section, which I've already edited it, but I'm going to click the unedited one to show you. 
So this is the picture I'm going to do. And typically I just remember where it is in line. So it's the seventh picture. And then what I do is I bring up Facetune. I open the photo. And then this is the bare photo unedited. And then what I like to do is I go down to the smooth button and I smooth my face. Now I don't smooth it too much so it's not realistic. I just have a lot of texture on my skin. So I like to do my under eyes, my forehead, wherever I have zits that day. <laughs> and then a lot of times because my chest has kind of, I call it a discoloration from the sun. So I like to smooth that a lot. Woo! Bam. And then that's all I do with the smoothing. And you can always click that button to see the difference too. And then you just click the check mark. And then what I like to do is I like to go in on the details and highlight the details. So for this it was a pop, a pop of color. So I highlight the inner corner highlight that I do and then I do the color. Um, I did notice for this one the color is too intense, so I kind of brought it down and erased it a little bit. Then also I just kind of like to highlight my eyelashes. Just, I don't know why I do. And then if you pull it back, sometimes you can tell it looks too intense in some spots, so just edit it. You can edit it as many times as you want, as long as you don't push the check mark. Once you push the check mark, you can't undo it. But I'm going to leave it how it is. And then the last thing I like to do is go over to this defocus and hit the blur. And then I just like to blur out the background. And then I tend to be really sloppy when I do this because then I just go back and erase it off my face. And then I'll just go back in and erase the parts I got my face. And then a lot of times I'll leave it like that, but sometimes I just still don't like how it looks. So I'll then go back in and defocus the background so that it brings all the attention onto my face. So it kind of makes your head look like it's floating. And that's all I do for that. So you can see the difference here. And then after I'm done with that, I will save that to the camera roll. Now if you're not too picky, you can leave it like this. But if you want to go a step further, you can go and take it into Afterlight. Use. And then you can just change some stuff. So brighten it a little. And it depends on your Instagram feed. Or what is it? No, your Instagram theme. So you can do it according to your theme. Ah, I don't want to brighten mine too much because I'm already pale. And then bring in some contrast just to, not too much. Oh, I can make myself tanner. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the Rusk filter, but I'm going to bring it down some. And done. And then I'm just going to save it or you could upload it to Instagram. So that is how I edit my Instagram photos. If you guys have any other suggestions on what you do with your Instagram photos that you think would be helpful tips for other people as well as myself, please link those down below. Same with any apps you use. I'm always looking for new apps to edit photos just because I find it fun. Um, so link those down below as well. So that's all I have to say for this video. Um, I did film a tutorial on how to do winged eyeliner. So if you want to see how to do the wing liner, uh, it should be out within the next week or so. So just keep a watch out for that. Um, but that's all I have to say for this video. So thank you for watching and until next time.